Hi everyone, welcome to this video. Today we're looking at ratio uh, and specifically ratio what I've called ratios 1 and 2. There is also ratios 3 which I have um, covered in a, in a separate video but in order for you to understand that make sure you're aware of the basics of ratios. Um, so let's start with ratio 1. Um, just to remind you a ratio is a way of comparing two or more quantities okay so let's say for example you go to a, uh, a party and they have four cakes and they have um, 10 chocolates and they have 12 sweets right so four cakes uh, 10 chocolates and 12 sweets okay so the first one of the first things you need to know is that ratios are always written with colons these things here are called colons okay um, and ratios are always written as whole numbers so these are whole numbers so that's our second rule first rule is the colons second rule is they're always written as whole numbers and the third rule and a very very important rule is that they are always written in their lowest possible terms so these are all even numbers so we can divide these three numbers by two so 4 divided by 2 is 2, 10 divided by 2 is 5, and 12 divided by 2 is 6. And then we just double check to see if we can um, divide this or simplify this further. So therefore the ratio of chocolates, uh, sorry, cakes to chocolates to sweets is 2 to 5 to 6. Okay, so that's the, that's, uh, the very, very foundation of ratios. Now just in case you get ratios which are written as a fraction, so let's say you get something like this. Let's say you get 0 0.5 to 1.5 to 3. As you can see, one of our rules was that ratios should always be written with colons, which we've got. They should always be written in their lowest possible terms, which I think this is quite low. But they should always be written as whole numbers. Now these, as you can see, are not whole numbers. So the secret here is we can double them to turn them into a whole number. So double 0 0.5 is 1, double 1 1.5 is 3, and double 3 is 6. Remember, whatever you do to one term, you've got to do the same to the others. Because we divided this one by 2, we divided these by 2 as well. Okay, so before we move on to ratio 2, I just want to make sure we understand um, problems with ratio 1. Here's another example here. Uh, let's say we have 1.2 to 2.3. Now, as you can see, if we d if you double this, it's still going to have a decimal because ratios, as you know, should always be written in the lowest terms and then they should always be written as whole numbers. So here it's quite easy. We've got a decimal point there and a decimal point there. To get rid of the decimal point, we just multiply by 10. So if you multiply both numbers by 10, we get 12 and we get 23. Are, are these in their whole numbers? Yes. Are they written with a colon? Yes. And are they written in their simplest form? Yes, because you can't divide 23 by anything because it's a prime number. Okay, so let's look at another one. Uh, let's do 0. Point, oops, 0. 0.3 to 0. 0.4 to 0. 0.5. Again, getting rid of the decimal point just means you can multiply everything by 10. So you get 3 to 4. To five. If you multiply everything by ten, remember the decimal, the, the number moves in this direction, or the decimal point moves in that direction. Um, so this is the foundation of ratios. Ratios, the very very basic of ratio. And this is ratio one. Uh, let's have a look at ratio two. Now, with ratios two, the best way to to learn about this is to actually try a question. And and while I do this question with you, I'll explain exactly what you need to do. One very, very, very important thing we need to be mindful of is this word here. I'll be referring to this a lot, especially in maths, especially with ratios, this word. This is the layout, right? So it's really, really, really important that we lay out the question um, in a particular way so that it makes sense because maths is all about patterns. And if you lay it out correctly, you can see the pattern and then you'll get the correct answer. So watch how I do this and then in a second I'm going to give you a question to try it yourself and then you can pause the video and then have a go yourselves, okay? Right, so the question is, David scored 27 runs in a cricket match. The ratio of his score to Andy's was 3 to 8. How many runs did Andy score? So this is what I mean by layout. 
what we're doing is we're taking out the important uh, bits of the question so we know that there are two people involved there's David and there's Andy D for David A for Andy the next thing we write down are the ratios so the ratios of David's score to Andy's was 3 to 8 and notice how I've written it in the same order of the question because David's name was mentioned first in the question itself I've written David's and then Andy's name comes afterwards so this 3 here means David's and this 8 here means Andy's how many runs did Andy score? so how many runs did David score? he scored 27 runs so let's look for the number that turns 3 into uh, 27 and as we all know 3 times 9 oops times 9 is 27 and whatever we do to this side we've got to do the same to the other side so 8 times 9 makes 72 that means that Andy scored 72 okay I'd like you to try this question out now this is um, it's a little bit I wouldn't say it's more difficult but it's, it's probably the same level as long as you lay it out as long as you do this it should still be okay for you so the the ratio of the ages of Raj, Sonia and Peter is 2 to 4 to 5 if Sonia is 20 years old how old are Raj and Peter now before you pause the video just remember my rules for the layout my first rule is to write down the names or at least the initials in the first line then write down the ratios and then write down the information that's been given to you so 20 has been given to you which under which ratio does 20 go and then look for the pattern okay so if you think you've got it pause the video have a go once you've got the answer unpause it have a look at my answers have a look at my working out and hopefully yours is the same as mine okay you can pause the video now okay let's see how you did it now so let's write down the initials of the people you can write down Raj, Sonia and Peter but it will take you a long time so it's easier if you just write down R S P and then you write down the ratios in the correct order in the right order of the question so 2 to 4 to 5 now we've been told that Sonia is 20 years old and we want to work out the ratio of the other two so what number turns 4 into 20 so that number I call the magic number is 5 so that means we've got to multiply these ratios by 5 as well so 2 times 5 is 10 that means Raj is 10 and Peter is 5 times 5 which is 25 okay so that's quite simple and straightforward that's ratios 2 okay okay if you got that correct um, have a go at another question now um, try this one okay here you go try this one uh, Amy and Kate receive uh, pocket money in the ratio 8 to 6 if Kate receives 42 pounds how much does Amy receive remember my rules remember to write down the the names or the letters that represent Amy and Kate write down the ratio write down the amounts look for the pattern write down the the, the answer and then there you go very very simple okay you can pause the video have a go and then once you're done have a look at how I did it okay pause the video now okay so following my own rules remember it's all about the layout so let's lay it out properly we've got Amy and Kate we've got A for Amy K for Kate what's the ratio the ratio is 8 to 6 the amounts Kate receives 42 pounds so she gets 42 pounds how much does Amy get so what number turns uh, 6 into 42 that's times 7 that's our magic number as I call it uh, and whatever we do to one side we do to the other so if 6 times 7 is 42 then 8 times 7 must be 56 so that means that Amy receives 56 pounds okay and that's the answer to this question so hopefully you've got the hang of this if you have and you're quite confident you can move on to ratios 3